all blessings and honor and glory and power onto our King Jesus, sitting at the right hand of the Father, serving victoriously. Amen and amen. And um, just wanted to come with you guys, to you guys real quick with a video uh, before I leave for work. And just to say that I wanted to finish reading chapter 5 of Micah. And once we do that real quick, I'm going to pray in real fast. Father God, in the name of your precious Son, Yeshua. I would pray that every single believer, every precious soul of God, every precious child of God is hedged in right now. I pray that you would loosen and hasten holy warring angels to surround their atmosphere and their airspace and hedge them in, Father God. All their difficulties and hard times that they're going through right now, I'm praying for them. I pray for every single person that watches this channel. And if you have any prayers, please, please just let me know and I will pray for you. Amen. And um, I also wanted to say that in the name of Jesus Christ, every scheme, plot, gin, and snare, every contract, attempt, communication, counteroffensive weaponry, blueprint, attack, strategy of the enemy, okay, Slander, dark forces, enemies of the light, agents, satanic agents that do come in and they want to try to, Satan comes as an angel of light, just to prepare you for that. And unclean spirits, puppets, and agents of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ, that it is destroyed at the root of conception, torn up by the name of Jesus, and not to return, bound up, cast back to the dry places. And Father God, I ask that you would saturate this atmosphere with your glory and all the believers' homes and up above their homes in the atmosphere and airspace with your glory because your glory is just, your Son's glory is just, and the Holy Spirit's glory is just. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, guys. So listen, I'm going to read Micah 5 real quick because I'm in slightly a hurry but I didn't want to skip today but I have a, a much bigger uh, uh, study that I'm working on for you guys and it will be uh, probably tomorrow so all right so number five we didn't get to read all of four but I wanted to sit here and go back because we did not um, finish it okay so listen this is four Four, chapter 4 of Micah, verse 4. But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken it. For all people will walk, every one in the name of his God, and we will walk in, in the name of our Lord, Jesus, God, our God. In the day, in that day, saith the Lord, will I assemble her that halteth, and I will gather her that is driven out and her that I have afflicted and I will make her that halted a remnant. And we did read this forever. And thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. Okay, this is, I think it was... See, this is what the... Okay, yeah, this is five. Five is the one that I was supposed to read, guys. So I'm going to get to it. Chapter five. Now gather thyself in troops, O daughter of troops. He hath laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose governings forth have been from old, from of old, from everlasting. So this is speaking about, I believe, the Antichrist. Therefore will he give them up until the time that she which travaileth hath brought forth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth, and this man shall be the peace. When the Assyrians shall come into our land, and when he shall tread in our palaces, then shall we raise against him seven shepherds and eight principal men. 
And they shall waste the land of Assyria with the sword, and the land of Nimrod, and the entrances thereof. Thus shall he deliver us from the Assyrian, when he cometh into our land, and when he treadeth within our borders, and the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people, as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass, that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots, and I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down all thy strongholds, and I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Thy graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands, and I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee, so I will destroy the cities, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Woe is me, for I am when they have gathered the summer fruits as the grape gleanings of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat. My soul desired the first ripe fruit. The good man is perished out of the earth, which is another rapture verse in my opinion. I really believe that, guys. I truly, truly, truly do. <sighs> Makes me happy. I'm not looking, I'm not an escapist either, but I just know what the Bible says all the way throughout the Bible. And when you read, when you heard Psalm 18 yesterday, it does, it talks all the way throughout that. It's coded with rapture, just like the book of Esther is coded with rapture. And actually, so many of the books are coded with rapture. So, uh, the good man is perished out of the earth and there is none upright among men. They all lie and wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net, that they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince asketh, and the judge asketh for a reward, and the great man he uttereth his mischievous desire, so they wrap it up. The best of them is as a briar. The most upright is sharper than a thorn edge. This is all about, like, DNA, guys. The, the day of the watchman and thy visitation cometh, now shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend, but ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in dark, in the darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she is she that is my enemy, which our enemy Lucifer is female, shall see it and shame shall come cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Okay? Guys, I just wanted to say that I love you. And if you are not saved, if you don't know Jesus, it is time now. It is time right now to get to know him. Okay? Because he loves you. And A, admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. And repent for all the things that you've done throughout your whole entire life. B is believe with all your mind, heart, and soul. C is call upon his name. And D 
is deliverance demonstrated when you get a water baptism and you are birthed out of this kingdom and birthed into the kingdom of heaven. And I'm not making this too long, guys. I love you so much in Christ. I love you, 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 and you, all of you. And I pray for each and every single one of you. And I'm sorry I'm making it so quick, but we are raining and storming here today in uh, our lovely town. So it is just dark and gray out there. I love you guys in Christ. Just, just hang in there and have a great day, okay? All right, I love you guys. Peace and grace.